I welcome all of you for MSC videos. It's time to learn. So in this session, we will discuss midpoint circle drawing algorithm with an example. So step number one is we need the radius and the circle value x c comma y c. If you want to use the symmetry property of the circle, we have to consider the center of the circle as zero comma zero. At last, we will add this x c comma y c, and we will plot the first point zero comma r. Zero comma r means the radius value. Step two, we will calculate the decision parameter p one. P1 equal to 1 minus r. After that, if P1 is less than 0, x value is incremented, y value remains same. This points, and we will use this formula to identify the next pk pk value. And if pk is greater than or equal to 0, x value is incremented, and y value is decremented, we will use this formula to identify the next pk value, decision parameter value. And step number four, we are going to repeat step number three until reaching out this x value is greater than or equal to y. Once x value crosses the y value, means we are moving from one octant to the other octant. That's the meaning. So, by after identifying the first octant value, we will identify the remaining octant values by using the previous octant value by interchanging the values or by changing the signs. We can easily do that by solving the problem. You will clearly understood that. After that, if there is a center value is provided, you will add this x c comma y c with all the calculated x comma y value. Now let us solve a problem on this. Draw a circle with radius five, the center two comma two, by using the midpoint circle drawing algorithm. So r equal to five, and center is two comma two. Initially, we consider the center is zero comma zero. Then only you can use the symmetry property, and we identify p one. P one equal to one minus r. It is one minus five. It is actually here. It is minus four. Here it is correctly mentioned. First point is zero comma r, so it is x one comma y one, zero comma five, and p k value is minus four, so that the next point should be. 1 comma 5, and here you write immediately write this. After identifying this every pk value, you write this value because this value is needed for calculating the next pk value. Here it is minus 4, so the next value should be 1 comma 5. So you choose the appropriate pk formula. So pk plus 1 equal to pk plus 2x k plus 1 plus 1. You substitute k equal to 1, so you can identify p2. P2 equal to p1 plus 2x2. Actually, here it is x2. 2x2 plus 1, so minus 4 plus 2 into 1 plus 1, it is minus 1. Once again, pk value is less than 0. If it is less than 0, x value is incremented and y value remains same. Here you see it is 2 comma 5, and this is x3 comma y3. And you substitute k equal to 2, p3 equal to p2 plus 2x3 plus 1. So x3 is actually it is 2 now, and you substitute the value. Now we are getting p3 is greater than 4, greater than 1, and here we are getting it as 4. If it is four means x value is incremented, y value is decremented, so it is three comma four. You substitute k equal to three, and then p four equal to p three plus two x four minus two y four plus one. This is the formula. We substituted the k value here, and once again we are getting p four is three. If we are getting p four is three, here we are having p four is three. X value is incremented, and y value remains. Y value is also decremented. Now we are getting four comma three, and here you see. X value crosses the Y value, which means that now we entered into the second octant. Once you reach this this step, we are no need to perform the next calculation. Just we are going to perform simple interchanging. That's it enough. So here we reach that. So how to do that? Here you see first octant zero comma five and one comma five, two comma five. It is three comma four, and then you interchange the value. And here, after reaching that, once again, it is four comma three, and then five comma two, and then five comma one, and then five comma zero. So first quadrant is we are going to start from zero comma five, and ending at five comma zero. So use a, a clockwise rotation first arc, first quadrant. First of all, we are performing the calculation only for an octant. Whenever x crosses the y value, then you interchange the value. Here we are having three comma four. We identify four comma three, and you interchange the x comma y. It is five comma two, five comma one, five comma zero. So this first and second octant combines. We are going to get a quadrant value. And how to write the second quadrant value? And you write the values from bottom to top to get the second quadrant value. So it is five comma zero and five comma minus one. First you write the value, and then you you can put the sign. Five comma two, four comma three. 3 comma 4, 2 comma 5, 1 comma 5, and 0 comma 5. Throughout the second quadrant, y values are negative. 
so apart from zero you put negative sign in all the all the y values so for the first quadrant values from bottom to top we will get second quadrant so second quadrant the y values are negative to identify the third quadrant you once again write the bottom bottom to top for the second quadrant for 2 you want to write first for 3 you want to write 2 so here you see 0 comma 5 1 comma 5 2 comma 5 3 comma 4 4 comma 3 5 comma 2 5 comma 1 and once again 5 comma 0 in the third quadrant all the values are negative x value is negative y value is also negative one then you put the sign and next for the fourth quadrant you have to write the values third quadrant values from bottom to top once again you see 5 comma 0 5 comma 1 5 comma 2 4 comma 3 3 comma 4 2 comma 5 1 comma 5 0 comma 5 in the fourth quadrant x values are negative you put a negative sign in the fourth quadrant so to identify the second quadrant value you write the values of first quadrant from bottom to top to identify the values of the third quadrant you write the value from bottom to top in the second quadrant to identify the fourth quadrant value you write the values of third quadrant from bottom to top and then according to the quadrant you put the negative sign so i am using a clockwise rotation so initially in the first quadrant both the values are negative second quadrant y value is negative third quadrant x and y is negative and fourth quadrant x value is negative so here these are the values by using only a center value as 0 comma 0 so actually we want to draw a circle with the center value 2 comma 2 so with this table add 2 with throw the table so i am adding 2 comma 2 with all the calculated x comma y value and here we identify those after that this is actually the circle here i provided more spaces in between each and every pixel if you, if you are not having any any more spaces means you will get a clear circle on that so this is how a circle is drawn with the help of midpoint circle drawing algorithm the main advantage of using this midpoint circle drawing algorithm is we are using these formulas to identify for a single octant for these identifying these five values we are using this formula for remaining values we are using the symmetry property of the circle so that's the main advantage of using a midpoint circle drawing algorithm thank you for watching keep on visiting my channel thank you